Bay and uh, based on uh, I Am A Camera uh, by uh, Christopher Isherwood and it's about the uh, Weimar Republic uh, period in Berlin uh, between the wars, the most interesting period of Berlin I think because um, the other areas like the Russian, uh, the Prussian uh, period, uh, Prussian Imperial period and the Nazi German period and the Communist German period after the war uh, don't really re represent the Berliners or the people who go who are attracted to live in Berlin, uh, who are laconic and quizzical and louche. And, uh, and uh, if I had to live in a city other than London, uh, followed by New York, it would have to be Berlin, because it seems to have everything there. And it's also got the greatest 20th century history. If I, you know, if if something that I don't know, a, a Mar Martian came to me and said, "Can you just take me to one place?" on earth, I've only got a bit of time, that to represent uh, uh, the uh, 20th century to explain me what it was all about. I'd take them to Berlin and I think a lot of people would as well. Well I first went to Berlin in 1981 with a, uh, an American Jewish friend and uh, he took me to a house in Dahlem, a beautiful house, uh, turn of the century, von Seck house that had been his family's house uh, before the war and his father had escaped. Uh, they had owned one of the largest department stores in Berlin, which was seized by the Nazis. Uh, and uh, his grandfather had been a, um, a, uh, a captain of a, uh, of a battleship at the Battle of Jutland and won lots of medals, but of course he, he stayed behind and he perished, uh, murdered by the Nazis. Um, and uh, it was a, a sort of an eye-opener to me to go around Berlin and see these places that uh, hark to the past, but also to see the present and also to go across the wall and see the other side of, of, uh, of Berlin, uh, see how communist uh, uh, society lived um, cheek by jowl with capitalist society, never the twain shall meet. And I made a piece of work called Berlin Wall uh, from a, an old hotel that had, before the war had been a grand hotel was now already crumbled because it was nearest I could get to the Berlin Wall itself. And I photographed out of the window with the uh, windows thrown wide open on a cold February day so the east was reflected into the west and the west into the east and you can see here this piece of work there the um, uh, and the wall this desolate area in 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 the middle was once the most popular part of Berlin uh, this was the center but like the Piccadilly Circus of Berlin now it's completely desolate with um, uh, over here was the barbed wire and behind was the Berlin Wall itself uh, and uh, a desolate scene, a more desolate city scene it would be difficult to imagine right in the centre of the city uh, and then buildings in the background and here buildings re reflected east into the west and west into the east and I just call that piece Berlin Wall but it wasn't until uh, 1989 that I would return to Berlin and I returned just in time as the Berlin Wall was uh, being taken down and the whole of society was changing and I photographed uh, the Berlin Wall again in a different way uh, and this time I had the, the east on the left there you can see this uh, chap uh, with his son behind him uh, looking at the um, uh, looking rather anxiously while his passport is being checked as he goes into East Berlin. And I've made the, the, the passport checker, the policeman, rather sort of a disembodied figure, taking the face out, just got the, got the, um, the cap and the, and the uniform, because he, he had no purpose at all, um, just a sort of cipher. And then here, you've got different sorts of people. There's a nun there, different people looking anxiously uh, from the west, looking in, this is on the west side, looking across at the breach in the wall wondering whether they should chance going in or not. Um, and then in the middle, I went to stuck an old German Bible uh, and I opened it at the Proverbs page. And in fact, I called the whole piece Proverbs. It's a completely different piece of take on the Berlin Wall. But on the other hand, uh, I wanted something different because I'd, I'd changed myself. And the biggest change had been from the previous one when I'd been a, a quite well-known artist in, uh, in Britain and then in America. Uh, teaching part-time and then full-time in art schools and things and by this time I was the Dean of a, of a, of a university uh, art and design department and eventually became a, a head of a, a, an art and design university but um, 
I'd made a decision to sort of, um, you know, change, change direction really because I needed the money and also I found great excitement in doing things for young people and teaching them art and design and being responsible for their education. So it was a change of direction but it meant that um, really I didn't have time, although I still made art, is that, that piece there, I didn't have time to show it and to, and, and to promote it at all. So for the next, um, you know, until I retired in 2005, I was making art but not really showing it very much at all. They just didn't have the, have the wherewithal the time to do it. But, start by admitting from cradle to tomb, it isn't that long a stay. piece is by Vaughan Grills. Is it? Now there's a name from the past. And the other one said, yeah, is he still alive? 